Hey, what's up motivators? Taryn here, professional triathlete, Olympian, and fellow ROCA team member, Katie Zafiris, recently went through her first pregnancy having her first child. As somebody who stays fit and healthy for a living, Katie had to learn how to balance being a mom for the first time, going through this pregnancy for the first time, and maintaining some form of fitness. We've teamed up with Katie for this video to provide her seven best tips for exercising around your pregnancy and coming back after you've given birth. Let's do it. When regular people want to do something personally amazing in an endurance event, they use Motive Training Plans. Whether you're just getting started or you've done several events and want a little more structure to step up your game, we know what it takes to get amateurs to their goals no matter how big or small. You can accomplish anything you want. You just need a plan designed for the unique needs of people with families, jobs, and a busy life. The Motive Training Method is that plan to get you to the start line feeling confident and across the finish line feeling strong. Hi, I'm Katie Zafaris. I'm a professional triathlete and I'm also a new mom to Kimball who is almost two months old. And for me, um, pregnancy and postpartum was a really big learning experience. And my main goal during that was really just to stay healthy and stay connected to triathlon, but not necessarily train as a professional triathlete. My first tip for both pregnancy and postpartum is just to enjoy it as much as possible. I didn't really enjoy being pregnant and just how that was affecting my training and getting out the door. And so things I did to make it way more fun would be go with Tommy if he was doing a training session, but I would just walk or maybe I would do a run walk. Um, I would meet up with someone at the pool, so, so that kind of made it a lot more fun for me. She was also pregnant and um, had her baby six weeks before we did. And then also for, for the bike, I actually stopped riding pretty early on just because it wasn't fun for me and I really wanted to focus on doing things that I enjoyed during this time, um, knowing that at some point I will get back to being an elite triathlete, but that moment wasn't during my pregnancy. My second tip is to try not to compare your journey to others. Do the same thing you would do in training and racing, which is don't compare yourself directly and uh, take stuff in, but make it, make it flexible so that you can have your own experience. I think it's really challenging as an athlete not to compare yourself to others. And I know just during my pregnancy, I, I, there were times where I felt the same. So really just doing what's, what's best for your body, what's best for your mind, and making sure that you stay focused on yourself. So one of the things that I learned both in pregnancy and now that we've had Kimball and I'm getting back into training is to be flexible and be adaptable, whether that would have been wanting to run more and ending up walking more or having the intention of swimming 4k and then ending up swimming 1k um, just and also I there were times where I felt really good and I didn't really expect to so I would actually run maybe I thought I was gonna run five minutes but I could run 10 minutes straight um, so that would be that was something that I found really valuable is just to be able to adapt whatever I plan training wise to how my body was actually feeling. Another tip that I have is to have a good team surrounding you that you trust and that you know um, will be good in this specific transition in your life. So I really um, connected with two women um, who really guided me in my pregnancy. Um, one is a physical therapist who specializes in pregnant runners and postpartum runners. And then another one is an exercise physiologist who works with the USOPC. And I really leaned on them um, during my pregnancy and now coming back from having Kimball to really help guide me because I really didn't know what I was doing and I for sure didn't wanna be injured or do anything more importantly that could harm Kimball before he was born. So a tip that was when I was not feeling so great both before having Kimball and after is really just just get out the door even if it's not for as long as what you intended originally um, I think it's been really positive to get out the door even when I'm not feeling it like it and even when I'm not motivated at least for myself personally it's really good for my brain to just do something during the day and I, I remember like at the end of my pregnancy I was not 
not feeling so motivated to do anything. I just didn't feel great. And so normally I would be like, oh, I'm not going to swim less than 2K in the pool. Or like I would just go and I swim 500 or like just got in the water and um, would walk back and forth in the pool with my mom. <laughs> Even when I was super tired and physically um, not feeling so great, it was, I always felt better after I did that. So I think another huge uh, way to make sure that you um, maintain some fitness during pregnancy um, is just communicating well with those around you of what you, what your needs are and um, being able to maybe be with a different group of people than what you would typically um, train with. I know uh, when I was first pregnant <laughs> there was a pro team in the area that invited invited me out to start running with them and I literally just found out I was pregnant so it was pretty early on but I was I was pretty nervous and also these runners are faster than what I run at when I'm at my fastest so by a lot and and so I I actually um, bonded more with the coach and would go on walks with the coach and go on run walks with the coach and so I really adapted and communicated <laughs> that um, rather than try to do something that I both didn't feel comfortable doing and probably physically um, not so capable of um, even, at the, even at the best of times and also with my husband making sure that he's able to support me the best way possible. I think one of the greatest things we did right after Kimball was born was made a deal I was in charge of everything that went into Kimball and Tommy, my husband, was in charge of everything that came out of Kimball and especially as I was recovering from having a baby, I really appreciated that we'd made that pact. Something that's so important uh, as an athlete is always to make sure you fuel and hydrate well and I am definitely bringing this as a tip as a new mom and in pregnancy, really in life in general, to be able to make sure that you're both fueling properly and getting in enough water and hydrating because it's just gonna make you feel better, give you more energy in a time when your body is really going through, at least for me, something I've never done before. And especially now having Kimball and breastfeeding, um, I really can really sense when I'm under fueled or under hydrated so to take a huge water bottle with you always have snacks on on hand um, for yourself and to be able to make sure that you're getting enough in it'll make training that is already feeling harder just feel a little bit easier and make you probably a lot more happy in the end Hopefully you found this helpful, motivators. If you are considering getting into the sport of triathlon, we have a video that is up on the screen for you right now. That is our complete guide to beginner triathlon. Click on that if you're interested in getting into the sport. Later, motivators.